Hi everyone, it's been some time. Uh, there's been an update of the S7-1500 firmware version. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, we're going to take a look at the Web API file API. So we can now um, yeah, create files on the PLC and upload data and basically yeah, just upload files. And for that, we're going to just use the PLC as we always do, PLC System Advanced with the Web API demo. Uh, with the IP as always. And then we're gonna just use the library again, um, let it build the directory that we're locally having. It is uh, just uh, the web apps directory from the samples of the GitHub repository. And yeah, that that's it. Um, the directory builder will take care of getting file resources for us that we can deploy. And then we're just gonna use the directory handler to um, deploy it. And then we're going to make sure that the deployed one, the one that we browse, um, is the same one as uh, the one we have locally. And that's it. So um, the local directory basically just has some files underneath. Uh, it's it's this web apps folder with the custom example. And in here, there's some files. And now we have deployed it to the PLC. It's here the web apps folder, custom example with those files. And if we check, let's say uh, one file of it, um, doesn't matter which one, the login, uh, it should have the same size and it's 846 bytes on the PC and it's also the same one on the PLC. So that's it. Happy you clicked in and have a good time. Goodbye.